Are we ready? Yes, then. All right, let's go. Let's All go. Right, let's go. Ready. Are you okay? I'm not going to school. And why is that? I said I'm not going to school. Door, please. Jidena. Baby, open the door, please. What's up, man? What's up? Yeah, uh, what are you thinking about? Yeah, um, hi, hi. Hi, what, what's up? What is it? Oh, nothing. It's it's nothing serious. Come off it, bro. Talk to me. Huh? You didn't come for lunch, and I walked in in you, visibly disturbed. What is it? Huh? Is it work related? No. Then talk to me. It's Jidenna. Her sickness is back. Oh. What's the meaning of that? We were... We were ready to go this morning and... She suddenly stopped that she's not going again. You needed to have seen the anger on her face, the, the coldness. I... <sighs> what could be the meaning of all this? Huh? But you, you told me Baba said that she's fully cured. That's the same thing I have been thinking about too. I thought we we're done, finally done with this and then we're back to being the normal family, but it seems like we're just getting started. Well, you can't just conclude that the sickness is back. Maybe she was uh, passing through something that she may not do. I am her father. Jesus! 
Jelena. Jelena, what is this? I told you I don't like seeing onions in my food. And when did you start not liking onions? I don't like onions in my food! Baby! Jesus, what is wrong with my daughter? What is wrong with my only child? It's okay, it's okay. What are you thinking about? Don't you think this could be your village people? What could be my village people? The reason our daughter is behaving the way she does. Please, Susan, can we not just go there again? Martins, we are talking about our daughter here. We have to find a solution to her sickness or whatever is wrong with her. What would you have us do? We consulted our pastor. He confirmed nothing is wrong with her. But you couldn't accept that. You insisted we take her somewhere else. We took her to a spiritualist. And whatever they did, obviously, they didn't stay forever. Because whatever is happening to her is back again. So what would you have us do? That's what I'm saying. Maybe it's your village people. Can you just stop saying my village people? Can't you see our daughter is behaving the exact way your mother behaved before she passed on? Susan. <sighs> okay, fine. <laughs> see, let's look at this thing logically. You told me that your village people said your mother was possessed. And then some people said that your mother was mad. But then the, the, the high priest in your village later discovered that a spell was cast on her. Susan, what are you saying? Maybe they cast the same spell on my daughter. The same spell as your mom. Susan, there's no spell anyway. I think someone is against your family. Someone is trying to hurt my daughter. Susan, there's no one trying to hurt our daughter. Then why is she behaving the way she does? Why is she acting this way? We need to find a solution to my daughter's sickness. I don't want to lose her. She's my only daughter. Martins, please, I beg you in the name of God. You just have to go to your village and do something. I don't want to lose my only daughter. I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. You have to do something. I'm frustrated. I can no longer sleep. Ah, God. <laughs> but please, you have to do something. I beg you in the name of God. Please. Baby. Good morning, mommy. Good morning, baby. Give mommy a hug. Mm. I hope you slept fine. Yes, I did. Mm. Don't worry, breakfast will soon be ready. Okay? Okay. Um, mommy. Yes? What can I do to be more beautiful? Baby, you are beautiful. Very beautiful. I just don't see it. I mean, everybody compliments Rose, but not me. Rose? Your classmates? Baby, you and Rose are not the same. You're beautiful in your own way. Indirectly saying I'm ugly. Chidena. I just want to be as beautiful as Rose. I think I'll get plastic surgery when I get older.
beautiful and gross. <laughs> like I said, those beers beautiful and gross. She gets all the compliments. I get nothing. <laughs> to remove the spell they cast on my child. What is all this? I should have asked questions before accepting your marriage proposal. I just jumped in because I, I was madly in love with you. Now look at what it's costing me. Really? Really? It wasn't enough for you that you said my late mother was mad ye yesterday. Now you are saying this thing to me? My only daughter is behaving like a mad person and you expect me not to react? And you think your reaction is solving the problem by calling my family names? Did I call your family names? Eh? I simply said go to the village, go and tell them to remove this bed and cast on my child. What is all this? What did I do to deserve this? What did my daughter do to them? Martin's come back here, I'm still talking, come and tell them to remove this bed and cast on my child. What did she do to them? What did I do to them? I'm not going to sit down here and watch my daughter die. But he's come and do something. God, let us go to the village together. Let us go and see your people. They're going to remove this man and cast on my child. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon, dear. I missed your call earlier. Is everything okay? Mom, everything is not fine. I need to see you. Can you come visit? What's going on, Susan? Mom, please just come around. There's something we have to discuss face to face. Can you take the next flight? <sighs> Susan, what is going on? Because Mom, please, can you take the next flight? So this is how we now resolve issues, by keeping malice. I hope you know this is childish and petty at the same time. Petty, you say? Mm -hmm. What exactly do you want me to discuss with you when my child is going mad? Why are you talking about her as if she's not my child also? And she is not going mad. What has come over you? Sis? Everything. Martin, everything is wrong with me at this point. What is wrong in going to your village and asking them to undo what they did to my child? Are you serious? Can you hear yourself? You sound so ridiculous. What do you mean go to my village? What exactly is wrong with you? You... Where do you get that baseless assumption from? Baseless assumption? Yes. Not again. Where are you? Welcome, man. Thank you, my darling. Nah. Huh? So bad. 
so tired. Oh, this water. Let me get it right for me. Oh. It's so icy. Oh. Mm. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, come on. Mm. Mom, let me take you to your room so that you can rest. Mm -mm. Don't worry. You sounded so urgent. No journey. Oh? Ah, so let me take you. Sit down first. We will go. You know go? Okay. The woman Don't worry. Very hands off. Don't worry. What happened? What is it? <sighs> Mom, a lot has been going on. Jidena's sickness seems to have returned. Ha! Huh. How come? The same question I have been asking myself. He spoke highly of Baba. Because he's so good. He has never failed. Well, he has failed this time. <sighs> but I think I know where the problem is coming from. You do? Yes. Tell me. I think it's Martin's village people. I don't understand. Well, my husband once told me that his village people um, said she was possessed. Some called her mad. And she behaves exactly like my daughter. Okay. And yet I think his village people have transferred the same thing the mother had to my daughter. Transferred the same thing the mother had to my grandchild. Um, 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 um. Mama, you know that we didn't really ask questions when he was coming for my hand in marriage. That was because you told me you were in love. Ah. And you wanted to marry him in a hurry. I never wanted to marry that man. You know that. Regardless, now we know where the problem is coming from. I believe you. I think that might just be where the problem is coming from. You know what? Um, I will talk to Martin. He has to go to the village and tell his village people. Hmm? Tell his village people to cancel the spell on my grandchild or whatever they did. Exactly. Exactly what I have been begging him to do. Mama, that's why I told you to come here. So that you can beg him to go to the village. Eh? Let them stop the spell they cast on my child so that she can be free again. It's again. It's a beg. So if you put it down on Anna, you was there for him to do the right thing. Don't worry yourself. I beg him. That's why I am here. I will speak to him to do the right thing. Thank you, Mom. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. Ah. Jiden, Mom. Oh, Jiden. Jiden. Ne. You're back. I you, was good. You didn't oh. wait for your extra lessons. Jiden. Jiden? Oh, oh. So, it has gotten to this extent. So, it is not this bad. Ogini didn't drink. Ogini can't just see Hey, hey. Hey. I mean, all you could have told me was that she was coming. How hard is that? I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? Can't my mom visit again? Ah, you're frustrating me and I don't like it! Martin. Ma? Please, let's talk when you're done taking a shower, okay? Yes, ma. is happening in this house. Yeah. I heard that you people have a history of madness. Mama, I never said that now. Shut your mouth! As I was saying, 
before I was interrupted. I heard that your family has history of madness. Yes, and that might be what is affecting my granddaughter. With all due respect, ma, we do not have a history of madness in my family, and my daughter is not mad. Please. Okay, so what the eh? Mana, please don't try to be offensive. Eh? Yeah? Oh, we are looking for a solution. Oh, we are looking for a solution. Yeah? Just listen to your wife. Yeah? Go back to your village and rectify things. Oh. Rectify what exactly? Rectify what? There is nobody in my village doing anything to my daughter. I am open to any suggestion, reasonable suggestion to finding out what exactly is wrong with my daughter. And she is not mad for the opt-in time. If that would be all, I'm tired, really tired. I had a long day at work. I need to retire. Eh? Good night. Susan, he is working out on me. If you get, he is working out on me, oh. I told you, this man is rude. Very rude and arrogant. That's why I never wanted him to marry you. Never! What? Mama never told you Martin has a history of madness in his family. What did you say? What did you say? You see your life. Eh? That is why it is very important for you children to listen to your parents. Susan, if you had listened to me, you wouldn't have been in this mess. Look at your daughter. Ofu, your only daughter is mad. Susan, tell me. Gwam kaye si we ko onyuku alkita. Eh? Nemo. Grandma. How are you? Is everything okay? Yes, everything is just fine. I just came to gist with you. <laughs> gist with me? Mm-hmm. Ah. Am I too old to gist with you? No, I didn't say that. That's not what I meant. Okay. Um, what's been happening in school? Mm, school? Mm, nothing much. It's just there. Eh. Mm. You mean nothing is happening? Well, I heard you have any friend. Oh, yes. Her name is Rose. She's okay. very beautiful. And smart. I'm the dull and ugly friend. No. Why would you say such about yourself? You're pretty and intelligent. You this girl. Don't say that. Hmm? I need to rest. You mean I should go? Yes. Okay. I'm just wondering what is giving that woman the guts that she has. <laughs> Calm down, bro. She's still your mother in law. And so? Is that why she will insult my family and I? But Martin, what she says is it true? Are you okay? What What do you mean by that? Uh, no, I, I just... You are, you are just thinking that maybe in my family we have a history of madness, isn't it? No, come on, bro. I, I didn't mean it that way. I don't, I don't want you to see it that way. I, I was really curious to know where, such inform where she got such information. Maybe from Susan. Susan? Yes, well, I told her everything about my mom's illness. When Chidenna's sickness started, she kept insisting that what happened to my mom is associated with what is happening to her daughter and it has to be from my village. And probably she told her mom that I, that my family have a history of madness. That is me. Ha! Look, I'm tired. 
I'm tired of everything. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm, I'm just tired of this whole thing. Bro, you just calm down. We are going to find solution to this. All right? Chill. He's a very strong man, Uncle. Very strong, go. Eh? I brought him to pray for Jidenna. He can cast spell. Is it this man, Uncle? Only Tia Jomo, Jaja Jomo, Chanan Zatakon. Yes, yes, yes. Let me introduce myself properly. I am Pastor Fred, specialist. Casting and binding. Where is the girl? I am very impatient. I want to see that stubborn spirit quickly. Mama, this is not a good idea. Why? The other time I got to Baba here, now he passed. Uh -uh. What is wrong? Is he a clown? See, what we're looking for is solution. If I name call them my Obrea, eh? Cheating now we are not like this. Please, she will get furious when she sees him. She will soon be back from school. Tell this man to leave my house. See, see. Jidenna cannot be stronger or more furious than all of us put together. Yeah. I have an idea. Look, um, where is this girl? I want to see her very quickly. Because the spirit is leading me right now. Huh? She will soon be back from school. Mm. Ah. Okay, that is... Uh... We'll go through the Bible. I will wait for her. Aha! Out! Amen! Out! Amen! Out! Amen! Aha! Reba baka senda mama sumo. Rubaba baka seba. The gazoma baba saba. Miraku busobu. Zeba zeba kara kama. Out! Amen! Every spirit. Demonic from your father's village. Fire. I say out. Amen. Umago precisely. Fire. I say out. Amen. Just like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego were not burnt in that fire, so this body shall not be burned by this demon in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every Amen. spirit from your village. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Aha. This demon. Amen. Out. 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 Oh, yes. Just back. please stand back. Wait, stand back from me. Just bring, bring. Please. Just put it down. Put it down. Please. I How dare you put time up like a common mad person? How dare you? Please, please, your own good. Please. Grandma, please, just, just, just hold it there, please. No, 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 please, no, don't, don't speak to your grandma. Please, just hold it there, please. If you guys don't talk close to, to me, I swear, I will show you guys madness. I will show you madness right now. Just wait, baby. What is the madness, Abby? No, 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 wait. What is the madness, Abby? What is the madness? I will show you the madness now. I will show you the Doctor, how is my daughter doing? <laughs> Calm down. Um, your daughter is fine. Okay. okay. Well, are you sure? Because why is her eyes closed? <sighs> That's because she's taking a nap. Okay. We we are lucky that um, the damage wasn't much. Okay. Okay. So you just calm down. She's fine. She's fine. Alright. She's fine. She's fine. Okay. <sighs> Um, just excuse me. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah.
and get something. You will not speak to me. Speak to you about what exactly? I was trying to find a solution to my daughter's sicknesses. I hope you found it. Why are you acting like this? What have I done wrong? What have you done wrong? What have you done wrong? You do not respect me in this house. You make decisions without consulting me as a head of the home. You do not regard me and you're asking me what have you done wrong. You let your mother bring in a pastor that tied my daughter like a mentally deranged person. And you are here asking me, what have you done wrong? She said the pastor is specialized in casting and Casting and binding what exactly? Need I remind you that our daughter is not sick? She just has anger issues. You and I know that this is more than anger issues. I have respected your mother as much as I can. If she continues like this, I'll be forced to throw her out of my house. Baby. I brought food for you. <sighs> I'm not hungry. Baby, you know you have to eat so that you can take your medicine. I'm not hungry. Baby. I said I'm not hungry, mommy. I'm not hungry. Just take this food and leave. Just go. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. I'll leave. I'm leaving. Are you sure you don't want to eat? Mama, what were you doing in her room? You should be in bed. Yes. I was going to bed. But not before anointing my granddaughter. Is that what I crime to? What if she had fled up? She's just recovering and very sensitive. Uh -uh. What have I done wrong again? Eh? If I may ask, where did you get that anointing oil from? <clears throat> from my pastor. Which one? What's that supposed to be? Eh? What? Nothing. I'm just saying that we should be mindful of what we apply on Jidena. It might be contributing to what is wrong with her. Night. This boy. This boy. Mama, my husband is right. We should be careful about the things we apply on Jidena. Eh? Your husband is right, eh? So applying anointing oil on my granddaughter is so is bad now. It is bad now. Who so bad there? No problem. No problem. But if I don't want to get my child, don't worry. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me.
Mama, you can't just leave me like that. I can't just leave you like that. See, it's so glaring that I have overstayed my welcome in this house. I am leaving. Why would you say that? Why wouldn't I say that? Susan, why wouldn't I say that? Your husband does not want me in this house. Uh, my dear, I am leaving. After all, I am not homeless. Uh, Lugo? Mama, why are you saying this now? Please, I need you in this house. I need help. Please. <laughs> you need me in this house. You need help. Your husband is here for you. I know he will be willing. Willing to help you. I am going to my house. Mama, please. please. Mama, please. Mama, please now. Please, oh yeah, please. I'm begging you, please. Because then you have to pay. Hey. I'm ready for school. School? Yes. Baby, you're supposed to be on bed rest. Oh, I'm tired of resting. I just want to go to school. Baby, are you sure you really want to go to school? <laughs> of course, I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay. Let me get the car keys. Okay. What about breakfast? Uh, no, it's fine. I can always grab something at school. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm coming, baby. Okay. I hope someday I will find someone different. And the lonely times will pass away when I'm here in your arms.
was at office and I was called to come down to her school. On getting there, I saw that she beat Rose till she bled. What? I don't understand it. What is this? She used stone on her head. As we speak now, she's receiving treatment at the hospital. And your beautiful daughter has been suspended indefinitely. What? Chidina, why would you do that to your friend? I thought you liked her. Why did you beat her up? Well, she's she's more beautiful than I am. And, and she has everything. I'm always the second. And then she's always bragging about everything to me. And, and then she makes me look and, and, and feel small. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh my God, what sort of evil is this? What sort of jealousy do you have against your friend? We didn't raise you up to be like this. What is wrong with you? Jidenna, don't walk out on me. Jidenna! Jidenna, come back here. I'm talking to you. Jidenna! Jidenna, come down for dinner. I'm not hungry. Leave me alone. is about to start now. I can't find them. I still can't find them. You can't find what? The files? Huh? D did you search the house? Yes, I did. I even called Susan to help me search, but she can't find them too. Oh, my God. What is happening? Huh? I don't know. Huh? D did you search the car? Yes, I did. I think I'm in a mess here. Bro. We need to go and search the car. But I've searched the car. We need to go and search. You see, the meeting is starting any moment from now. So let's go. Please, but, but please, please, please. I let's go. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I give you two days. If you don't find those documents, consider yourself fired. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. You don't look bright. How was the meeting? He didn't hold. Why? Because of the documents. My boss gave me two days to find the files or get fired. Wow, that's too harsh. Don't worry, baby, we're going to find the files, okay? Even if you need session the whole house. Should I make for dinner?
Maybe not. I'm looking for something. For something. That is false. Can you search here? My, what's wrong with it? I, I'm not sorry, man. Take it easy, man. We'll work out something. I promise you. Okay? Just take it easy. I know how you feel right now, but take it easy, bro. You know you can't continue like this. What has happened has happened. I was at the apex of that company. I was at the peak of my career and everything just goes down the drain. Babe, you can Don't worry, something better will come up. You, you don't understand it. My boss, he... He does not forgive. He never forgives. He, he thinks that I intentionally made him lose out of that deal. Only God knows why he must have been telling our affiliates. I, I'm glad he said I, I can't get a job anywhere. Ah. Baby, you can't be too sure. Hmm? Don't conclude like that. You, you know how much I work. You, you know how much I put in my sweat and blood into that company. It's okay, man. And it just seems like someone... It's okay. <laughs> hey, baby. It's okay. Something better will come up, okay? Slept fine. I did. Okay. Please go and tidy up your room. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow. Do it today. But I'm tired. Tired? What have you done? Go and tidy up your room now. But I said I'm tired and I'll do it tomorrow. Jidena, I said you should.
You know, if I didn't trust your mother, I would not have believed that you actually came through my loins. You are wicked. You are very wicked. Can we? Ah. Oh. Would you do this to your own father? Your own father? Chidena. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, baby. Good morning, Dad. Daddy hates me now. No, baby. He doesn't hate you. He can never hate you. What you did was wrong. I, I just don't know when I do these things, Mom. It's like I can't control my emotions sometimes. I don't know what's happening to me. Am I mad? No. Am I wicked? No, baby, you're not mad. You're not wicked. Don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? Okay, baby. It's fine. Sorry. It's okay. <sighs> How many do you want? Are you okay with this? Baby! She's sorry. You know she's unwell. Looks to me like she's just pretending. Martins, how can you say that? You know what we have been through since our ordeal started a year ago. She was so beautiful. Good. Emphatic and a loving child until all of this started. We just need to seek for help. Okay. That's all you have to say. What would you have me say? No, what would you have me say? That child made me lose my job, a job that I've invested my blood and sweat for the past five years. What would you have me say? She didn't intentionally do that. Really? And you know this how? She's not okay. She, she's not herself. Really? 
So tell me, what exactly is wrong with her? That's why we need to find a solution. I know what is wrong with our daughter is not ordinary. That's why we need to go to your village. Do not even try to vomit that rubbish you're about to say. Don't make me to really get angry with you. What is it? Get angry with me? No, 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 get angry with me then. Isn't it obvious that what is happening to our child is the exact thing that happened to your mom too? When will you start seeing the truth? Until we lose our only child? Martins, we need to go to your village. I need you to go to your village to undo what they have done to our child. Nobody did anything to our child. Nobody. What are you hiding from me? Wow. Martins, what are you hiding from me? Why have you refused to go to your village? Martins, we need to go to your village. Don't walk out on me, we're still talking. Martins, we need to go to your village. Let's know. We need to find out what is happening to our daughter.
find out, okay, I should come to you. Yes, you can. Baby, open the door. Jidenna. Jidenna. What's going on? No, she's not responding. Baby. Baby, open the door. Baby. Alive. Um, just doctor, why are you telling us to calm down? Where is our child? Where is she? Okay, she's alive. We we managed to save her before the poison got into our organs. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, doctor. Yeah. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Please, uh, I want to ask, why would such a young girl want to take her own life?
our daughter is unwell. I, I don't understand. Our daughter is sick. She has this sickness that makes her undergo several emotions within a short period of time. Ah, I, you mean she's bipolar? Bipolar? Yeah, uh, that's the only um, logical explanation to what you just said. She's bipolar disorder. Good morning, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Martin. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Doctor. Uh, I thought I told you both to go home, freshen up, eat something and come back. <laughs> Why are you still here? Oh, we will, Doctor. Just um, some, some minutes Listen, here. Um, she'll be fine, okay? You need to be healthy for your daughter. All right, just go home and do as I say. Will she be fine with us today? Yes, of course. Um, the nurse we wash over her, okay? All right, doctor, we will go home. <clears throat> I just spent some minutes. Hmm? Okay, it's fine. Hold on. Excuse me. Doctor, so I can give an accurate diagnosis on your daughter's case. But I will refer you to a friend of mine who is a mental health specialist. So I uh, want you to take your daughter there when she's fully recovered. I think she will help. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will do that once she's fully recovered. Okay. But can we take her home now? Yeah, of course. But please pay close attention to her. All right? We will. Again, thank you, Doctor. I appreciate everything. You're welcome. Thank You're you. Welcome. Yes, baby. We want you to spend some time with us. We want you right here. I know you guys are afraid that I'll harm myself again, but I won't. We know. Indeed, she has bipolar disorder. People who have this go through varieties of emotions within a short period of time. They have manic episodes, which may include symptoms like high energy, reduced needs for sleep, and um, loss of touch with reality, and so many other things. Depressive episodes, which may include symptoms like low energy, very low motivation, loss of interest with daily activities. Mode episode last days to months. 
and which may also associate with suicidal thoughts. Um, when did she start having the symptoms? When she clocked 15 a year ago. My daughter is just 16 years. What could be the cause of this bipolar? Mm. Childhood trauma. Stressful life events. Brain chemicals. Family link. Drugs. Medications. And so many other things. Has she at any point in time been traumatized? Traumatized? No, what, what could she be traumatized about? She's just a child. She, she was. What are you saying? Against your order, I was still going to school. She was too, I couldn't take her to school, so I employed a nanny. You were always traveling then. Uh, so it was best for me to do. Oh. Each time I got back from school, I, I, I saw bruises on her body. I, and each time the nanny feigned ignorance. I neglected my child. I allowed the nanny to stay with me for a year. When I found out that she was physically abusing my child, it was one night I got back and I met her on the floor in a pool of her own blood. She had used pistol to, to hit her head and she, and she fled thinking she was dead. So why did you never say anything about this? What did you do? Why did you tell me? I, I didn't want you to be disappointed in me, knowing that you were working so hard to give us a better life. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm Mr. Sorry. Martin, please. Please, please. please sit down. Please. Mr. At least now we know where the problem is coming from. You can't live like this. Let's find a lasting solution. Please sit down. Please. Please, I'm Please. sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, the treatment is lifelong. We will manage her with some medication and psychotherapy.
You made breakfast. I'm not hungry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't know what happened back then with result to this. Please forgive me. Forgive you? Forgive you? <laughs> you hid those things from me all these years. And you watched our daughter suffer. You even called my family names. And you desecrated the memory of my late mother. I don't know, what, which exactly do you want me to forgive you? I'm sorry, I... Please forgive me. I, 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 just, I just wanted to complete my education. Did you tell me? No, did you tell me? You made it seem like it was, it was no problem staying at home with Jidenna. And, and you let this thing happen to her? If you had told me that you wanted to complete your education, I would gladly allow it. You know this. I was the one who was encouraging you to go to school. I'm sorry, baby. Please forgive me. You know we have been through so much as a family. I don't want this to make us drift further apart. Please. You should have thought of that before taking the decision without considering the harmful effect and taking the decision alone. I'm sorry, please. Please forgive me, please. I'm sorry. What makes you angry? Um, I don't know. And what makes you want to harm yourself? When when I feel unloved, when I feel neglected, when I feel unwanted. And oh. what makes you think? If you harm yourself, you'll be happier. Because if I'm not here, I'll definitely be happier. How would you know that? How would you know when you hurt those who love you with your demise? Your emotions are not meant to control you. You have to control your emotions. Whenever you feel such intense emotions, fight it with everything you've got. Your emotions should not control you. When your emotions control you, to Dana, you lose it. You lose your will. Is that the kind of life you want to live? Good. Time? 
Ya. Kau. Ya sure. So have you taken your medication? Mm, yes, I have. I have. You're I sure? have, yeah. Um, Dad, I want you to stop fighting with mommy. Whatever your problems with are, uh, just, just settle it, please. I love you, my baby. It's okay. You need to rest. comes first. <laughs> <laughs> this is so uh, Hi. How do I look? Good. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Even if you get a plate, oh no 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 no! I have to go. You know what they say? First impression is the lasting impression, and I need to be on time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bye, baby. All right. I'll see you. Eh? I know you get the job. Thank you. You I get the job. I know, thank you. <laughs> I need to go. I love you. I love, love you. you too. Have a great night. <laughs> Josh is okay. Yeah, and he sends his regards. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's chopping Yankee money. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Babe? Yeah? Mom wants to come around. Mm. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, she's always welcomed. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And babe, hmm? um, what about you didn't ask school? Yes, uh, I have been thinking about it. I've got my job back, and um, money is not the problem again. So I was thinking, why don't we just? Uh, enroll her in summertime prestigious college you know she's been dying to go there i feel change of environment will you know help her it'll be good for her mm. sounds good yeah a fresh start for her exactly so uh, what i told you that you are the best father and the best husband on earth yeah Oh, well, you just did. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Red oil. <laughs> cola, big cola, not. Why? <laughs> That's what he likes. Oh, no, my dear. I miss it so much. I miss it so much. I miss it so much. So much. Thinking about it all 